everyone, uh, so today I wanted to show you how I buff my nails and what I use and why I uh, buff my nails. So uh, the reason why I buff my nails is because I really really love the look of um, my nail looking as if it has clear nail polish when it doesn't. Just that smooth and uh, really really shiny look. And I've also noticed that um, when you apply your nail polish it's so much easier and so much more smoother. The application is just uh, amazing when you buff your nails. And uh, the nail polish lasts uh, so much longer and it doesn't chip as easy uh, as it usually would. So that is a really, really big plus. So you don't have to keep reapplying your nail polish, you know, every other day, which is uh, really big and convenient. So this is what I use. Um, this nail buffer is by Revlon and you can get it at any drugstore. It's a uh, nail buffer and... Um, nail file all at once so it's a really really nice this side is very very rough the black side it's uh, for nail filing and this one is just white and it's a little bit softer and on the sides here it's uh, very easy to go step by step for buffing it's one two three and four you just follow the steps and it's pretty easy um, so one negative thing I found about this uh, file this buffer actually because when I file my nails I tend to just start thinking about something or I usually watch TV and then I daze out and I'm looking at the TV and uh, sometimes my hand just slips and this black side leaves a really deep, deep scratch on my nail. So then I have to restart the whole uh, process with step one to step four and um, if I do it over and over, it really your nail becomes so thin and that's not good for your nail so just gotta be a little bit more careful but it usually happens really rare but um anyway so last time i actually cut up my nail file in half uh, because usually when i use my nail buffer i hold it like this and then i buff my nail and the sides get used up but not the middle in here so um once i didn't want to go buy another one I just cut it in half and then I really really had like a good grip of it and I just filed my nail like that it was very very easy and uh, but I dropped the other one the other half of this in the toilet yesterday but I used it up anyway so <laughs> uh, well okay so before you start um, buffing your nails you have to kind of soak your nails in something what I use is I use this lavender dead sea salt from forever living products because salt is really really good for your nails and also this aloe bath jelly and um, I use this together with the salt just so um, I get like you know just basically clean my nails because I don't think salt is gonna clean your nails go ahead soak your nails and I'll meet you here Okay, so first I wanted to show you uh, a buff nail. So the middle finger over here is buffed. You can see it's very nice and shiny all the way from the cuticle until uh, the tip of the nail. And the finger over here, actually I'll show you this one. This one's easier to see. Uh, you can see that uh, all the way over here near the cuticle, you can tell that the nail is unbuffed because you can see the vertical lines on the nail and it's um, not shiny at all unlike the tip of the nail over here. Do you see the difference? Okay, so I'm gonna start um, with this finger because I did my uh, this one. See, it's nice and shiny. So I'll do this one. Uh, this is the before picture. Do you see that? And I'll show it to you guys after. Okay, so I'm gonna start with uh, step number one. This is very simple, uh, it's time consuming, that's all. Uh, there's nothing really difficult about this. You just file, get real close to, to the cuticle. Should, uh, main focus should be on the top. Be careful, uh, get a really good grip of the nail buffer because you can't afford to slip and make a really deep scratch on your nail because that's a really big bummer, bummer especially when you're on the last step and you mess up and you gotta start all over. Not what you want to do. Okay, so 
this is how the nail looks after step number one. It's not shimmery, uh, not, not shiny at all. Okay, so moving on to step number two. Same thing. Just go over your nail. Like that after step number two it's getting a little bit more uh, shiny okay moving to step number three So this is after step number three. And the last step, of course, number four. Same, same thing, just focusing closer to the cuticle area over here. But also don't forget the tip of the nail because you want it to be nice and smooth all around. So that is it. Final look. See, it's all nice and shiny from uh, the cuticle to the end over here, uh, over where the tip area is and see it's uh, both of the nails are so nice and shiny and trust me you will feel the difference when you'll be applying nail polish and it will last so much longer so i hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial and i will see you guys in the next tutorial okay, bye guys